Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Howdy.
Hey there. Hello. Welcome to Randall and Associates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? That's good, but I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes comes increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty, and increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself, and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? Your first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR Ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with a rifle, he was drummed out of the Rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? Now, I'm a relative newcomer to Vegas. I grew up far, far to the east. My parents were Brahmin herders somewhere near the Mississippi. I never figured to be a violent man. I hardly shot a gun till I was in my 20s. I just wanted to raise my own family in peace. One day, a man came calling. He offered to help with chores he seemed sincere. He was a big help for several days, so I let my guard down. He clubbed me in my sleep, tied and gagged me. Then, he made me watch. He raped my wife right in front of me. Then he cut her open, pulled the baby right out of her belly, and butchered it right there. He carved off most of my face, and then he left me for dead. That was 15 years ago. I've been searching for him ever since. For years, he was always two steps ahead, preying on families in isolated areas and repeating his crimes. A few years ago, I heard he had a run-in with the regulators at the D.C. wasteland, but it's just a rumor. He's probably dead by now. I resigned myself to this profession. Over time, I've come to grips with the fact that chasing that man is a dead end. You got quite a story out of me, didn't you? I haven't talked about that in years. Any other questions? His name was Marco. He's almost certainly dead by now. But if you ever come across him, shoot him for me. Any more questions? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there.
Aha. You like that? I'm out of here. Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! 
What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God, smell that air. <laughs> Powder ganger, what? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> Bye. Don't worry, I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak, and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their... dissolution? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Ha! <laughs> Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified, and burned. One by one, they stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. As are all crimes, if you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing.
Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I got. I got this assignment. I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Face is just fine. Yeah, well, curiosity killed the cocksucker, or something like that. I'd prefer not to discuss it. I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Everywhere and nowhere, partner. Does it really matter? Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glanton. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it'd be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently this guy ran with Glanton years ago. You don't by chance know anything about him, do you? Damn, that seems to be the consensus around here. Teaming up would have its advantages, but I need to make sure you can handle yourself. What are your qualifications? Now you're talking. I think you'll work out just fine. 
I do have to ask though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? Good to know. I can respect that. Look, I'd like to get started after Glanton right away. Are you ready to go? Good, now I guess we'll start where I left off, up north of town. A trader by the name of Tonopaw Tim said he sighted Glanton up there. I don't understand the fuss over sunsets, as for real. Tastes like rancid fruit to me. Hey. The rifle and the blade are off limits. What's up? Like what? Oh, you really want to know? Fuck you. I don't ask about that scar on your dome. So pay me the same courtesy, okay? Like what? Uh, point me towards the fucking bad guys? Really, I've learned to make do with whatever I've got. I prefer an assault rifle, but I'm handy with a blade as well. Just don't stick me with some dumb fucking unarmed weapon, okay? Nothing worse than charging into a shootout with your bare fists. Like what? There's a lot of scuttlebutt about his origins, stories of his family being killed by tribals, him swearing vengeance, probably bullshit. Not surprisingly, he's supposed to be a devil with a knife, very quick. Runs a tight crew also, real authoritarian. Once he sets his sights on a tribe, they're gonna get theirs one way or another. He's never failed to fulfill a contract. Like what? Yeah, the Desert Rangers. Ever heard of them? Figures. That Tower of Scrap is our tombstone. Desert Rangers were here long before the NCR showed up. We kept the Mojave safe, or at least tried. NCR is fucking soft. All lazy conscripts waiting to finish their tours, well supplied, armed to the teeth. We didn't have those luxuries. There were never that many of us, and supplies were uneven. We had training and discipline though. That's why we won all our battles. Plenty of former Desert Rangers are serving in the NCR now, and they're good people. That wasn't for me though. I won't live a lie. The Legion happened. It was a trickle at first, just the scouts. Then they started showing up in force. We killed them, and more would take their place. Legionaries practiced total war, killing or enslaving entire towns that helped us. A lot of people started having a change of heart. With dwindling supplies and manpower, some of the rangers began to see our struggle as futile. We fought on regardless. Maybe the legion would have lost interest if we'd continued giving them bloody noses. I wish we'd had a nuke. We won almost every battle, but we lost the war. Even if the NCR stops Lanius, the Mojave's identity will be gone. Like what? Look, we're working right now. I'd prefer to focus on the task at hand, if you don't mind. Lead on.
What the f- 